So now let's take a look at my legs. Mine look something like that. And so what I want to do now is add the kind of the big tooth here on the chin and then a few horns kind of sticking out from the back. Um, I also want to add some kind of uh, hard surface kind of detail to the shoulders. Uh, this is, you know, he's kind of bird-like. And so I want some sort of horns uh, sticking out from the shoulders, but not, I want them to be a little bit more subtle. If that makes sense. So I'm going to go to move and make sure we still have our symmetry on. I'm going to get a pretty large draw size. And then what I'm going to do is pick up some geometry and, and move it down. So this may take a couple of times to get exactly what we want, but I'm basically picking this up and let's get kind of a smaller draw size. So I'm going to pick this up and kind of move it down. Okay. I don't want it to be that flat though. So I'm going to pick it up and then move it out. I want it to be more pointed that way. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to make another one. Pick it up, and then I want to move it out. We can have a little bit of a layered effect, so maybe one is longer than the other one. Let's make this a little bit pointy. Let's remesh, so control drag. Let's smooth this out. Let's go ahead and get our Damien standard brush, and I'm just going to make a more of a division between these kind of right along the sides there and this kind of goes back into the surface and then we can make that a little bit more pointy if we want to i also want to add the chin or the uh the tooth here for the chin and we can do this using an insert brush so let's just go to our insert multi mesh basic i'm just going to grab a cone and i'll come over here until my symmetry creates one dot. So I know I'm not creating two cones. So let me go ahead and insert a cone right in here. All right. And now I want to make sure that I separate this into a separate subtool. So I'm going to go to split and let's split unmasked points. Now we can go to this new tooth here and we can start to manipulate that. So we can go to scale. I'm going to unlock this scale actually turn off under transform we'll turn off our symmetry for now and i'm going to center this and change the rotation so click on both of those and then relock it now i'm just going to scale it down in the x let's scale it down in the y i'm going to rotate it scale it out in the z okay so something like that scale it out overall And then I want to actually bend it. And so let's go ahead and just subdivide this a few times. We'll go back to move and I want to click on this little gear and then I'm going to choose bend arc. And it wants us to have uh, either freeze or not have any subdivisions. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our subdivisions here. We'll choose bend arc. And then this will allow us to bend the tooth and so let's go ahead and I'm going to bend it this way. We'll go ahead and accept that. Let's now rotate this again. And now after we've bent it, I want to thicken it up a little bit as well. So let's go back to scale. I'm going to scale it in the Y. Scale it down in the Z. So I want to also rotate it, but I want to, before I do that, turn off symmetry. And now let's rotate this up and against the head. All right. So something like that, that's kind of where I want it to hit. It's actually maybe a little bit lower than that. So yeah, something like that. Go back to draw with move selected. We can move it into the head. Let's turn symmetry back on. So once we've got that basic shape in there, we can also add the same thing to kind of the back of this ridge here. And so to do that, 
you'd simply go in again and do the same thing with the insert. And the great thing about these insert brushes is you could, if you wanted to model a specific uh, tooth or a specific horn or have a library of horns, you could create those and then use those as insert. Then you don't have to do the all of the sculpting and modeling on it afterwards. You've already done that work. So for us though, we're gonna simply use the cones and I'm gonna add maybe one right in here. And let's go to move. I'm gonna rotate it, scale it, push it into the surface. Okay, so something like that. And then I would just make a couple of couple more of these. So let's split these out. And then with any of these subtools, you can always just hit duplicate. That gives you another subtool, and then you can move that up. Okay, so you just want to then, I would create maybe three on this ridge. Okay, and then so you've got those three, and then you've got the big kind of tooth coming out from the chin right there. All right, so let's get to something like that. And they, the horns don't have to look exactly like mine, or you could even, you know, you could make, shape them however you want to, really. And so the next thing that we want to do is then now create the jumpsuit. So we've got kind of the basic body created, but we want to start creating the basics of the clothing and things. And then we're going to start cutting this guy apart to create more detail on the head. And we'll sculpt the detail into the, the jumpsuit. And, and then we'll go into Maya and start to create some of these other uh, clothing pieces that we want to make. All right, so let's get to this point, And then we'll come in the next lesson and work on the jumpsuit.